radiology is changing pretty fast. Every single day, artificial intelligence are reading scans, finding tumors, and even drafting radiology reports. So now the big question is, will artificial intelligence replace radiologists? Let's find out. So let's talk about cases where AI is actually used presently. So one is image detection and segmentation. So here important things like bleeds in the brain or lesion in the brain, lung nodules, etc. All these things will be picked up with high accuracy and speed by AI. Another one would be workflow triage. So in a busy hospital, there will be a lot of cases. So AI will flag the most important cases like pulmonary embolism, stroke, bleeds, etc. And it will automatically bring it up to the top of the radiologist's reporting list. So another one would be a dictation software. So where you will dictate and AI will automatically pick it up and will convert into medical terms. And this can also give you the final impressions or the conclusion of the reports also. Another one could be radiation optimization. So here the AI software will uh, see the patient's size, I mean the age, the height, weight and all these things and will uh, optimize the radiation required for that patient. So now let's talk about some real world examples. First let's talk about AI doc. So this software is used in the emergency department. So here it will uh, quickly find out cases of stroke in the brain or bleeds in the brain or pulmonary embolism and it will alert the on-call radiologist. Another one could be uh, zebra medical vision. So here this will analyze CT scan for these tiny hairline fractures and coronary calcium and even liver fat. So this will help a radiologist in picking up these subtle findings that he or she might miss. Another one could be lunate insight. So this one it will only read chest x-ray and it will quickly find and flag the chest x-ray that has patterns of uh, tuberculosis or COVID-19 like symptoms. Um, another one is RADNET and RADNAI. So these are reporting softwares where you will dictate and they will formulate a proper report with um, impression findings. So University Health Network. So in this, what it will do is it will quickly pick up cases of uh, pneumothorax and it will automatically uh, inform the on-call radiologist. Another one is the use in mammography. So in mammography, there will be subtle microcalcification that a uh, few of the radiologists might think that, okay, this is not important. But AI, due to the lot of cases, it has been fed of these microcalcification becoming cancer. So they know few of these microcalcification that is highly suspicious and will alert the radiologist during reporting of these mammograms. And the same thing can apply for chest nodules also. Some other examples I would tell would be, um, you know, there are a few softwares where in a CT scan of abdomen, it will automatically find out all the calculi, stones in the kidney, ureter, or bladder. It will mention where it is, what is the size, and what is the Hounsfield unit. Another one could be of the uh, spine. In CT scan of the spine, it will find or AI will automatically find out all the spinal canal measurements. So you don't manually need to do all these things. Another one during ultrasound, let's say ultrasound of thyroid. So you just have to pan uh, the probe throughout the thyroid. And the AI will automatically detect all the nodules and it will label the nodules, will give you the volume and even give you the thyroid score. So AI will increase the diagnostic ease. So AI will help uh, finding these subtle findings and definitely that will increase the number of findings a radiologist will pick. Another one is it will reduce the reporting time because uh, the simple and repetitive cases can be picked up easily by the AI and uh, a radiologist can focus more of his time on complex uh, cases every day. Another one is uh, when a junior radiologist just after passing his MD or DND is, uh, you know, starting to work. So for him or her, uh, definitely AI will be helpful because it will help, um, you know, quickly find all the uh, pos possible lesions in the body and will help out the radiologist telling that this, this, here, yeah, this, this. And all that junior radiologist needs to do is characterize it and then think of it, what it could be, infection, tumor, etc. So there can be a lot of false positive and false negative because no algorithm is perfect. AI lacks critical thinking and the clinical judgment because that is one thing a radiologist can do and an AI will definitely. Another one is regulatory and legal responsibility. Even when AI is giving the output or telling that it could be this, it is a human. That is, it is a radiologist who is going to be held accountable in the court of law. Another one is integration and infrastructure work. So making an AI is okay, but effectively applying that AI into a hospital system, into a hospital packs, RIS and HIS. This will take a lot of time, money and IT back. So this is a part where most people go wrong. So I would say AI will not replace a radiologist. 
but a radiologist who uses AI will replace the ones who don't. So why it cannot replace radiology, I'll tell you. Because radiology is not just pattern recognition. There is a lot of critical thinking and understanding that goes behind a radiologist's thinking. So let me give you an example. AI will detect there is a lesion in the brain. But what could that lesion be? The lesion, is it an infection? Is it a tumor? Is it an infarct? Or is it a bleed? So this AI cannot tell because here you have to use the clinical history. You have to see the lab values and all these things. For example, patient is having fever and the total counts in the labs are very high. So you're thinking more in, in terms of infection. Now in clinical history, patient is having hemiparesis, is having motor and sensory defect and there is slurring of speech. And then you're seeing a large hypodensity that is corresponding to a vascular territory. So you're thinking more in terms of stroke. So these are critical thinking and this only a radiologist can do. Or I would say this is something a human mind can do. So the day uh, AI software can think like a mind. Uh, so AI can not just replace radiologists. It can replace anybody and anything and it can occupy any amount of jobs. So when that comes, everybody's finished. So until then, what I would say is AI will support a radiologist and never replace it. But one thing I would want to tell you is in a corporate setup that can afford AI and effectively integrate it, so what happens is the work of a radiologist will reduce, I would say. It means this small repetitive task or this cut work a radiologist does will effectively reduce. So in a corporate hospital that has used AI, who has the funding to you know, uh, start AI and you know, integrate it to the packs, so they initially would have required 10 radiologists. But with the advent of effective advent of AI, they will require only 7 radiologists because the work, uh, the repetitive work is being handled by the AI. So the number of radiologists will be less only in corporates. I, so let's say in tier 2, tier 3 city, in normal hospitals, that will be very difficult because they have to first purchase the AI, they need to integrate it and they need a lot of IT people to support. So let's come to the bottom line. So think of AI as your co-pilot and the radiologist as a pilot. A uh, co-pilot will help a pilot go farther with better accuracy and fly safer. But a co-pilot will never replace a pilot because it is a pilot who makes a final decision and who plans the course. So to all the budding radiologists out there, I would say do not fear in AI because I would say you should learn it, use it and lead it. Because a great future is not humans or machine, it is humans with machine. So I hope you like this video and if you like such videos, do subscribe. Thank you.